All right, yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is, is Grace Tutor, where we solve technical drawing problems. And here I'm bringing to you another problem in technical drawing. And this question has to do with the intersection of two hexagonal prisms. Intersection of two hexagonal prisms that is under a topic titled Intersection of Solids and here as we have on this uh, paper that the figure above shows two equal and regular hexagonal pipes intersecting at right angles to each other the diameter of the hexa hex hexagon is 60 millimeters draw full size in first angle projection the complete front elevation and then question b says the plan so if you look at this front elevation as we are told that this is drawn in first angle projection so we, only, we are only given the front elevation look at this front elevation this front elevation is not complete because this line supposed to connect or supposed to join each other supposed to draw a straight line that will connect this together and also that will connect this together likewise in the in this in the front elevation of the impenet penetrating prism we are not given the lines we are not given the lines on this part so i'm going to show you how to do that here in this video now if you are meeting my video you are watching my video for the first time you are meeting me for the first time you are welcome as i said to his grace tutor if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe and put on notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified and please Help me to share my videos with your friends. Tell them about this YouTube channel where we solve technical drawing problems. And I believe that you will understand whatever I teach here. But don't forget to practice. This is a practical subject. You need to practice. And may God help you. Thank you. And let's look at how we can solve this problem. Now, as you have been told that the diameter of the hexagon diameter of the hexagon is 60 millimeters it means the distance across corner distance across corner is 60 millimeters i will tell you what i mean by distance across corners then the height of the vertical prism is 80 millimeters and that of the penetrating prism is 30 millimeters distance from year to year is 10 millimeters so let's take note of that we are going to make use of these dimensions to produce what we are asked to produce now the first thing that you need to do is to draw a horizontal center line so draw a horizontal center line okay so draw a horizontal center line as i've done it here so let me extend it a little bit all right so the next thing that we are going to do is to draw so this is a vertical center line so we draw horizontal center line now so draw horizontal center line then with your compass so with your compass take a measurement of 30 millimeters on your ruler take a measurement of 30 millimeters on your ruler since we are told that the diameter of the hexagon is 60 millimeters so you take 30 millimeters and put it at the center here then draw a circle so draw a circle here and with the radius that used to construct this circle so put it at this point and make an arc up and down of this point then bring it to this right side on this point so make an arc up and down here all right so keep this radius keep this radius i'm going to tell you what the reason why we have to keep this radius because we are told that these two prisms they are of the same uh, diameter so the diameter of the hexagon for these two prisms 
is always 60 millimeter so we are using the same diameter for both of them so that's why i'm keeping that 30. so what i'm going to do now is that since we are told that they are intersect each other at right angle so i will take my t square up and draw horizontal center line like this all right so then I put my set square here and draw a vertical center line around here. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is that. All right, the vertical center line that I drew here is too close to this place. So I want to uh, give it a little distance away from the front elevation. So I will draw the vertical center line here. Alright, so this is okay. So with that 30 that I've used to work on this, so I will put it here, then I will draw a semicircle. So I put it here and draw a semicircle like this. So this is a semicircle. Alright, so with this semicircle that I've drawn here, so with that same 30, I need to extend this line, okay? So with this same 30 that I used to construct this semicircle, I'll put at this point, make an arc here, then I'll put it here and make an arc here. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to join this point together. I will join this point together like this. So I will join this together. So for the penetrating prism i only need a little part of its hexagonal base and that's what i'm doing here so i don't need all of them okay so just for me to get what i want to get so then for this one you are going to see the top hexagon of this vertical prism so that's why I'm using a black pen here, because we are going to see the top of it. Okay. Then. Alright, so this is the plan of the vertical hexagon. So the next thing that I'm going to do here is that the height of the vertical hexagon is 80 millimeters. So I'm going to take 40 millimeters. So from here, I will take 40 down. From the center here, take 40 down. And then I will take 40 millimeters up here. Alright, so next thing I'm going to do is that I will draw a horizontal line like this. Then here, I will also draw a horizontal line like this. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is that with my set square, so from this point here, from this point, I will draw a vertical line. From this point, draw a vertical line. From this point here, also draw a vertical line. So from this point, draw a vertical line. And from here, draw a vertical line. Okay? Now, also, for this, from this point, draw a horizontal line. So meeting this point here, and from this point, draw a horizontal line. Going into this, and from this point, draw a horizontal line. Going in here, and from this point, draw a horizontal line like this. So stopping it here, okay? Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is that, as we are told, that we should draw the complete front elevation. So, as we have here, that the length from here to here is 30 millimeters. Length from here to here is 30 millimeters. So I will take a measurement of 30 millimeters from here to here. So this is 30 millimeters. Then I'm going to make this a thick line. 
so this will be a thick line and then this will be a thick line this line will be a thick line is a corner on the hexagon so it will be a thick line also this will be a thick line then this will be a thick line okay so that's what we have there and then on the front elevation on the front elevation distance from year to year will be a thick line from year to year will be a thick line and then so i'm going to leave this line i'm going to leave this line i will explain what the reason why i'm leaving it for now so this will be a thick line and this this will also be a thick line from year to year so the base here will be a thick line and the base here also or the top here will be a thick line all right so okay so now because they in penetrate each other we are going to have line or a lines or a line of interpenetration a line or lines of interpenetration so before i do that i'm going to, i need to number this so i'm going to call this one and this is point two this will be point one and this will also be point two here so i'll call this three and this is also three now i'll come here i will number this this is one this is one and this is also one so this will be two and this will also be two so i don't have three on this one so next thing i'm going to do is that so i'm going to locate the point of intersection of these lines of these lines and this line so if you look at what we have this is line one and this is also line one so line one vertical line one horizontal they meet here likewise we also have them they meet here okay so line two vertical line two horizontal they intersect here and they also intersect here so now we are going to join this point together so we join this point together to get the line of interpenetration of the two solids okay all right so then this line will come to the end here likewise this line so we have it here also this line so i left it just for me to get the line of interpenetration so we have this okay so that is the complete front elevation this is the complete front elevation that we're asked to produce now we're asked to draw the plan so the plan for the plan so i'm going to produce this line i'm going to bring it down here like this and then this horizontal line i will extend it okay now here i'm going to use that same 30 to produce a semicircle and i will divide the semicircle into okay so the same 30 so i still need to extend this vertical line here the vertical center line here okay so with the 30 i produce i put it here so i put it here then i will draw a semicircle okay so with this 30 so now in this case in this case what we are going to see here will not it will not be like this it will not be like this i'm going to show you how we are going to get it. so just put your the pin point of your compass here at this point here and you make an arc here then you make an arc here like this make an arc here like this then we are going to join this point join this point with this point here and this point we are going to join it 
together with this point like this okay then we draw from here from this point so we draw a line from here meeting this line here and we draw a line from here meeting this line here okay so this line will not be a center line again all right so i'm going to show you the reason why we are going to have something like this so let me bring it out before i explain what we have here so we make this a thick line so we also make this a thick line then we make this a thick line like this and this will also be a thick line all right so we have drawn the complete front elevation and we have drawn the plan but what i said here that the reason why we are going to have this the plan of this penetrating prism in this form is this now look at this object that i drew here if you look at this very well but i'm looking at this object in this direction in this direction this is the front now this is the front i have this line one two three four look at this one two three four that is the front elevation of the penetrating prism now by the time i'm looking at it from the top down i'm going to see only three lines only three lines i will see this line i will see this line and then we have a line like this we have it on this point here that goes down so that's why this is what the plan of the penetrating prism this is how it will look in the plan so this is the solution to this problem and i just want to say that you need to practice you need to practice so let me bring the question so that you can see it so possibly you snapshot it and practice it okay so this is what we get at the solution to the problem so keep on practicing and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not subscribed and share my videos with your friends who are also technical drawing students like you thank you for listening and thank you for watching may god bless you